Hi, it's D Goon here. And unfortunately, I won't be making it to the live show due to time differences. So we're going to do the dev section this way, pre record it. And then this week, we have some really cool things happening, such as Monero funding tour. And tour is pretty important. Monero is pretty important. Also, they're both great privacy projects. And it's great to see them helping each other out. In the past, we've covered how Monero coders have helped Tor actually fight DDoS attacks. So this month, we're going to see how Monero has also contributed back to Tor. And what is Tor? Why is Tor important? Tor is the most private way to use the internet, as far as I know. It's super private, and it's really important to support dissidents, right? Let's say you live in a country like United States that, that wants to suppress certain information about what the, what the government's up to, what the military is up to, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you want to be anonymous, but you want to put out data, you know, government leaks or like um, Assange, Julian Assange, you might, you will use Tor essentially, which helps protect you your privacy. Pretty important, like I said, most private way to use the internet. Darknet marks that use it, whistleblowers use it. It's subjectively a great thing. It needs to be supported. So that's the reason why government is trying to stop Tor, work against Tor, because you know it really helps bring a lot of things from the dark into the light, which is a really great whistleblower tool in general. And Tor is really good for that. And it's basically how Tor works. Tor basically bounces your connection around different computers, and each the balance sort of encapsulates it and hides it from outside viewers. And I believe the most basic understanding is that it does three hops between computers, diff different computers, right? Someone might have a computer in, I don't know, China, someone might have a computer in Australia, and it's Kind of slow, but that's what happens when you bounce around randomly across the globe, right? Internet slows down, but it becomes encrypted and private internet if it works well. There's some caveats to that, but generally speaking, that's how Tor works. You make it in connection to different computers bouncing around and sort of hiding your internet traffic. But once again, it's slow because the computers might be in different countries, in someone's basement, you know, in a in a hardware center. It all depends, basically. And who runs Tornos, you might ask. Like I said earlier, Tornos can be all around the world. So these people who run these are just chats. These are just volunteers who are just like, you know what? I want to support whistleblowing. I want to support all these great things that privacy and Tor brings. So they literally just put a computer or you know, server somewhere. It might be on-premise, might be in a cloud. And they just pay it out of their pocket, generally speaking. There generally isn't a great way to make money from this. It's not something you would do to make money, right? You would do it to simply support the network and support a good. You're basically a chat. And another way to sort of overcome this idea of like relying on donations is that someone has the idea to make a app that allows you to donate Monero to tour operators. Basically, how it works, um, the company or not company, not for profit behind Tor releases stats about Tor, and then it's like. This is how much traffic was sent through. This is the computers that were used, et cetera, et cetera. If you run a tour note, you can, you can add your Monero address there and help receive donations. But what this project does is basically allows you the easy way to donate to tour operators in private anonymous cash Monero. And this is really important because you, you shouldn't rely just on people being good spirited, you know, to run something as vital as tour. So it's really important to fund these things. It's really cool to see Monero stepping up and funding these type of projects. And you want to ask how much we've gone so far. Um, so far, that is this month, I believe, there are two whole Moneros have been donated to various relay um, operators. This isn't a ton of money, right? You don't, like, you're not going to run a tour node because it makes you money. You're not doing it because it's going to give you retirement. You're doing it out of the kindness of your heart, and you recognize that privacy is good. Everyone should have privacy. So the fact that Monero, this project just started this month, I believe, is really cool to see people have donated over $2, two, sorry, two Monero to this project, which is around, if you use 150 around, like, you know, $300 to various projects and have funded 320 relays that would not have funded before. So hopefully this is a great start. Hopefully the future just grows and grows and grows and we get more similar relationship between Monero and Tor. And once again, if you want to look up more about this, you can go to REI 
www.yfyya.com. I'm not gonna try to butcher the name. And you'll see the donation address right here on the screen. Also, we, I recommend you go to the website, check it out, read around. It's a pretty straightforward website. I think it's like one page as far as I looked at. It's really cool, really cool project. So um, please check it out, donate if you can. Tour is important, Monero is important. They go great together. I'm glad to see this project helping support both. And usually I end with a Monero talk reference. This is no exception. I'm going to try a different format since it's recorded. It's going to be a Tor Monero quiz. Which Monero dev has written code to protect Tor from DDoS attacks? If you, you know, are Monero talk, Monero Topia follower, you will know the answer to this. Is it Tevador, Arctic Mine, or Binary Fate? I'm going to give you a second to make your choice about which one of these devs has written code to actually protect Tor from DDoS attacks. So let's get on to the answer. Hopefully, you have your answer in your head. It was Tevador. And once again, if it happened in the aerospace, Doug has an episode about it. So I recommend you go watch this episode. It's a really cool talk talking about how Tor, and not, not simply Tor, sorry, but how Random X works together. Now, I'd love to see an episode from Tevador and Doug about specifically Tor and the work he's done with that great dev. I mean, super talented, super talented set of devs Monero have. It's great to see them working on other things. Like I said, check out this video. And for everyone in the world, hope you're doing good. People at MoneroCon, hope it goes well. And thank you so much. That's it. Hope you have a great day.